Hi, it's Alex. Today I watched a video called Don't Stay in School by Dave, Boy in a Band. The video isn't necessarily what you might think. It's not necessarily advocating for people to drop out of school, but it's offering this deep critique of the educational system, and it's a really catchy song and a fun song, and I totally recommend watching it if you haven't already done so. At the very end of the video, Dave concludes with this point of like, he wants, as a society, for us to scale back the amount of mandatory learning in school, the amount of things that are sort of deemed essential or that are required of mainstream education. And as he points out in this video, there is a ton of stuff that is included in the sort of default mandatory education. He's talking in the United Kingdom, by the way, but I'm here in the United States, and I think the same is true over here. So he says there are a lot of things that are included by default that are not really necessary in that they're not useful for the typical person. These include things like detailed facts about microbiology or esoteric aspects of history. I think history is a great subject. I think it can offer a lot of insights, but I don't think it is necessary to understand history in order to function in the world. And as Dave brings up in this video, there are a lot of things that are really necessary to function in the world in an effective way that aren't taught in school. He talks about laws, he talks about basic knowledge of mental illness, he talks about practical things like how to do your taxes, how to manage money. I'm totally with him on all these points. But I'm really with him most of all on this core point of like scaling back to the essentials. And by essentials, I'm thinking about things like how to read. I'm not necessarily thinking about how to do algebra. I love math. I have a master's degree in applied math, a master's degree in statistics. I don't need to do algebra in my daily life and I don't even need to do algebra in the course of my job. I'm not sure if I've ever had a job where I needed to do algebra. And so I think that that's not really necessary to teach people. When we scale back the amount of time that kids spend on these sort of mandatory things, there are several benefits. One, we can teach more of these essential things that aren't being taught, like communication skills and like self-awareness, all sorts of other things but also we can just end up with more free time for kids and for students. I recently made a video where I was talking about the importance of unstructured time and free time. I also think that it's important to have sort of self-directed time for self-directed learning in school. And I think that there are huge benefits of this. Like I know when I look at how I learn, if I'm sort of forced to learn something, in my formal education, I may or may not get much out of it. I think there are a lot of times when I'm forced to go through something, but I already know it, and so I'm sort of bored, or it might be kind of over my head, so I don't really get much out of it. And in other cases, it might be easy for me to learn, and I might be at the right level to learn it, but it's just not something that I find interesting. Like, it doesn't connect to the other pieces of knowledge in my life and to things that I want to know. I think that learning is kind of this network, like I think about knowledge and ideas as this network where there are these different ideas that are sort of connected in this web. And if there's like a hole in the web, if you're like learning all these things that relate to this one subject, but you don't know that subject, that provides a natural motivation to learn that subject, to sort of fill in the gap. And I think that when people pursue self-directed learning, they will often naturally go after those holes in their knowledge. On the other hand, if you have this connected network of ideas and knowledge, and then there's this subject way out there that is not connected to it at all, I think that it's hard to learn that subject, hard to fit those ideas into your network of knowledge. And I think a lot of the time, when students are bored or unmotivated to learn a subject, it's because it doesn't connect into their web of knowledge. And I think that if you try to study something where you are struggling to fit it in to your existing knowledge base, 
you're going to end up spending a lot more effort to learn that subject, and you're probably not going to retain it as well. And if you do learn it, even if you master it, it's probably not going to be as useful to you. So, basically, what I'm saying is that if we do what Dave advocates at the end of this video, if we scale back the amount of requirements to the sort of more essential things, and we free up all this time, and we allow students, including fairly young kids, but especially including like middle school and high school students, if we allow them to pursue what they want to be learning, and to have more say in the curriculum at their school, if we allow them to do that, they will probably learn a lot better. They will need to put in less effort in order to learn the same amount, and they will be able to learn more in total. They'll also be able to go in diverse areas. Like, instead of forcing everyone to learn all the same stuff, if we allow people to go and pursue different interests, we'll end up with more diversity of knowledge in our society. And I think that that can be really beneficial for society as a whole. So I think this is a really powerful idea. I would encourage you to watch Dave's video, as well as the follow-up video he made to it, which is really encouraging and inspirational. And I would love to hear from you too, if you have anything to say about the ideas I put f forward here, that sort of expand on this idea. Uh, and as always, I love when people share my videos and subscribe. Thank you!